again for the best files. We thought we'd do a short post of the things we like about Concord, North Carolina. So the first thing we have to mention, of course, is Lowe's Motor Speedway. It's located off exit 49. Um, it's about five minutes from where you get off 85. It's really easy to find. There's tons of signs off 85. And it's, you can also get to it if you take 29 out of downtown Charlotte. What else do we like, Jen? Well, Katie, we're particularly fond of Diet Sun Drop. Actually, Katie's more of a fan of sheer wine, but I like the Sun Drop, and I know you can get it in other parts of North Carolina, but it's bottled not too far from here. It's actually a lot better than Mountain Dew, and I'm obsessed with it enough that I take it all home with me when I go. Not literally all of it, but a good portion of it when I eat. Uh, we also are big fans of Bojangles. I like the Dirty Rice. Katie, Katie likes the Cajun Filet. They have the great best, french fries. Yes, the best french fries in the world. I actually took some extra stuff home last year from down here because Bojangles doesn't exist in Ohio or West Virginia. We also love Jack in the Box. So it's really easy for us because there's Jack in the Box and Bojangles conveniently located right off exit 49, right off of 85 north and south and going through Concord. What else, Katie? Um, we really like the fact that there's a mall on exit 49 in Concord. Uh, there's the mall at Concord Mills has tons of shops. There's a Dave & Buster. I know there's a um, Bass Pro. There's a Bass Pro. There's a NASCAR Speed Park. NASCAR Speed Park. There's, and there's also a bunch of smaller shops right in front of There's like a Verizon Wireless. And there's a Discount Tires. David Reagan in the Nationwide Series for NASCAR. That's what several gas stations around that area. Um, there's a lot of restaurants. There's the Hooters, but they actually this week had the Rowdy Bush Souvenir Hauler, which is for Kyle Bush's number 51, his late model, and his truck team. Yes. Uh, they're also um, they're in the process of building some new hotels in the area. Looks like three or four new ones are going up, located right there off of 49.